everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are always here or welcome if you guys are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stick around. Don't miss any future content from me. It is Sunday today. I just actually have ran a few errands today and thought I would vlog. It is 3.03 and I need to take a couple brand pictures. I might film a video today and then who knows what else. So I actually went to Ulta and Target and a homeware store with my mom today and I wanted to do a little haul for you guys. So really quick, you guys might see there are a little bit of changes in the background. If you guys have been following me with moving into this new apartment and stuff, I updated people towards the end of one of my videos where I complained about my apartment issues that I was having. If you guys didn't watch through to the end of that video, I did talk about at the end that the microwave was replaced and then my parents did help me clean the underside of the glass stove top. Everything has been taken care of, the smell is gone and it's all squared away. Anyway, I will show you guys the things that I got. We did hang up a mirror back here and then my mom and I are going to build a little stand, like a entryway stand that will go underneath the mirror and then I did put my little snake plant over here and then I'll show you guys a few other updates that have been going on since the last time I kind of vlogged. So, from Ulta, I got the little goodie bag that you get if you purchase like so many dollars in Ulta products, but I thought I'd just show you guys what's in here. It comes with a little makeup bag and then it comes with a lipstick, which this is the color Barely There. And then it also came with a mascara. This is the New Heights Lifting Mascara. You guys know how much I love makeup eraser cloths, so they have their own version of a makeup eraser, which I did not know, so I'm excited to try that out. I think they're so much better than actual like makeup cloths. And then it came with a matte eye primer, a matte face primer, a lip gloss this is the shiny sheer lip gloss in the color bare and then it also came with two little tiny makeup brushes that have little gold glitter in them and it came with a palette as well which i haven't opened this to see what it looks like so we'll do it together oh that's actually pretty it has like a bunch of pretty neutral fall inspired colors fun that's nice anyway the two things that i needed that's why i went there were the ulta brow pencils i like to use these over any other brow product usually they have little discounts or promos going on so um, i just bought two of them and then i also needed a new eyeshadow primer so of course this is the urban decay primer potion and then i also got a replacement concealer this is the revolution conceal and define full coverage concealer i think i've repurchased this like three or four times so love it and moving on to target this jacket is actually from target i feel like some people might ask i purchased it online in a size large so i really like the color of it and then i picked up this pillow which i'm going to quarantine for a while because we all know i'm a germaphobe so that pillow will go on my bed eventually and then once halloween comes around i'm gonna have my own little party like a solo party basically because obviously social distancing and stuff but cole and i will just probably hang out here so i got these little cute cups that have little spider webs on them and i got this banner to decorate <laughs> i got some happy halloween plates which of course i can use these next year as well if i intend to do anything with them but they were only three dollars and i got a little candy bucket for some candy that i bought at menards now i'll show you guys the other things that i bought and little updates around the apartment and stuff so this is new i got this cute little fuzzy blankie from sam's club it was like 29 dollars, i think so cozy I brought my Hoya plant over and my Monstera. How cute is she? Has the biggest leaves. Nothing has really changed in the kitchen, but I did buy some coasters from one of my former classmates in my program. So she's making little jute coasters now and her name is Brooke. So I'm gonna link her Instagram down below cause she actually sells these. So if you guys want little coasters, she can customize them to literally any color that you possibly could want. Usually she puts like string on the ends of these so you can choose any color that you want, but she has some super cute ones on there. So go check her out and buy some coasters if you are looking for some new ones. Here's a circle mirror. And then I also bought this rug, which looks like it has dirt right here, which sucks. But the other side looks like this and I'm gonna put this out during Christmas, so. 
Love it. Why'd you laugh? What? It is not. Go. Sharon! So we're gonna go take pictures for a brand and the brand is actually sponsoring a portion of today's video. So, Press. It's one of my favorite seltzers. I have been drinking them for the last like two months maybe. Would you say it was like the last two months? Yeah. But they're the best. So we're gonna go take pictures to post on Instagram. And that's that. They have a bunch of fun new flavors and I accidentally already drank all of them. So later in this video, I'm going to pop in those clips of me trying the newer flavors. Well, they're new to me. I don't know if they're new to everyone else, but they have a whole bunch of different flavors. So, all right, let's go take pictures. Cole's favorite thing to do. Took some pictures by this little willow tree. Now I think we're gonna leave. Think we should go anywhere else? It's up to you. That scared me. What was it? I don't know. I thought there was someone over there. No. Oh. <laughs> All the trees are so dead and sad. There's one little red one left. It's great, North Dakota. Before we get started, I did just kind of want to give a little disclaimer. I'm 24 years old, so I am of legal age here in the United States. However, if you're not 21, please just skip over this portion of the vlog. And of course, if you do decide to give press a try, drink responsibly as always. So these are four flavors that I didn't try in this video. These are all the flavors that come in the traditional four pack that you can buy at any of the liquor stores, but grapefruit, cardamom, blackberry hibiscus, pomegranate ginger, and lime lemongrass. Out of these four, blackberry hibiscus and the lime lemongrass are my favorites. I do like these two, but those are the flavors that my boyfriend Cole usually likes to drink. So he usually drinks these and I usually drink these too. These cans are so aesthetically pleasing. I love how sleek and minimalistic the cans look. The visual portion of a product I think is so important when it comes to branding. So I love these. All right, we're watching Sunday Night Football. So we're gonna have a little drinky drink. I'm gonna try the pineapple basil flavor. It's one of their new ones. I like this one. It's super good. good. Okay, we're gonna open another flavor. Now we're gonna try the lingonberry elderflower flavor. Ooh. That one's good too. Is it? I don't know which one I like better. Our oven's going off. It's good. I like that one. I like that one. Do you want to try the pineapple? Sure. The pineapple basil. Basil. You like that one better? Oh yeah. I like both of them. My consensus is I like them both. I don't know which one's better than the other. Well, first taste test is... Going good. Yeah, going, good going well. See ya on another night. Hi guys, it is a week later and now I'm gonna try the apple cinnamon flavor. I'm really intrigued by this one. I feel like I'm really gonna like it, so. Final verdict, I think I like it. It's definitely one of those ones that you can't drink while you're like eating something because it's just it's like a different flavor, but very fall appropriate. Definitely wouldn't drink it in the summer for like a refreshing thing because it's more cinnamony, but regardless, it's good. It gets a thumbs up from me and gets a thumbs up from Cole, right Cole? He can't hear me. On to the next one. I said, does this one get a thumbs up from you? Yes. I don't know if they could hear you, but he said yes. Okay, bye. Hi guys, so we just got back from taking some pictures for Instagram and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about Press Seltzer. So like I said earlier, Press is sponsoring this portion of today's video. They are crafted at a lower alcohol by volume, so they're only 4%, meaning that they're more sessionable so you can kind of taste the flavors a little bit better. And they're a little bit more refreshing in my opinion than alternative drink 
choices, I guess. The flavors really, really stand out and you can really taste them. Like they actually taste like what the name is. They are sold at Costco, Target, Total Wine, and Hy-Vee. However, you can find them at other local liquor stores. I know I've seen them at quite a few of our local liquor stores around here. They are carried by a large majority of retailers. I have two more flavors that I wanted to try on camera. This is the Blood Orange Chili and this flavor is new to me. That's good. Not my favorite, but it definitely is good and it is spicy with the chili. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. And then the last one I wanted to try is the pear chamomile. And I feel like I need like a palate cleanser in between these two. I would definitely drink this one, but it wouldn't be my first to grab out of a variety pack. With these newer flavors, they kind of wanted to gauge some insight on different flavors that I personally like and other creators like, of course. Ideally, if I had to create my own variety pack, I would choose the pineapple basil flavor. That one was a huge hit between me and Cole. I ended up letting him drink it because he liked it. I really liked the lingonberry elderflower flavor. I thought it was like a very refreshing and unique flavor and then of course the blackberry hibiscus that is an ultimate favorite of mine that one has been my favorite for the last couple of months and the last one i think i would pick is the lime lemongrass to be in like a, a variety pack if i had to choose i think that these are like a perfect drink to have on like game day or just something like a little social get together personally these have become my favorite drink ever and i'm so excited to drink these on the lake next summer they're going to be the most refreshing drink after you get out of the water oh i just can't wait it's actually snowing today so we have a long time coming until that comes around we're gonna get on to the rest of our day thank you again to press for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog let's do something else with our day i look crazy look at my body <laughs> I'm back home at my apartment. I just changed into some little biker shorts from Lululemon and then this little graphic tee from Shop Olive. I think it's like Shop Olive Grace or Shop Olive something. I'll link it below. But it just says hang loose and then it's a little skeleton hand, which I think is so cute. But I'm going to pack up some scrunchie orders. I have seven orders to fill and then I repotted a plant while I was at my parents' house, so it has a really, really, really long vine that I'm going to cut and propagate and make a new plant out of. I'll show you that as well. Oh, and I haven't shown you guys this yet, but my parents got Cole and I a little air purifier to obviously purify the air and make it smell a little better in here. I don't know, but I don't know where she bought it from. The brand is Winix, and it's a plasma wave, and so far I really like it have that running and then I also got some new shoes for work they're kind of more purple than I was expecting but they're cute here's my super long plants it's a little crazy <laughs> already so I'm just gonna have this tomatillo and pepper daily harvest flatbread if you can read that <laughs> here's all the ingredients I can't remember if I've tried this one or not but most of them that I've tried have been super super flavorful so I like the sweet potato crust rather than the cauliflower a little bit better but still good <laughs> shown you guys yet but i made a new kind of like fall inspired background these two are my pictures and then i found those two but i just like changing up the scenery 
is so depressing so I have to work tomorrow bright and squirrely at 8 o'clock so I'm gonna shower tonight just to get it over with because I need to wash my hair so I'm gonna shower and then I'm probably gonna lay in bed and watch some Netflix or something I'm just sitting on the couch doing the exact same thing so I'll probably move from the couch to my bed but I'm gonna take a shower wash my hair and I know I showed you guys in my other vlog that I've been using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner but usually I like to alternate in between every couple washes because I feel like the Olaplex is super expensive to be using every single wash. But I'll show you guys the one that I do use more frequently because I finally put it in my shower. I use the Amika Velveteen Dream Smoothing Shampoo. I absolutely love the smell of this. And then the conditioner is the Keep Your Color Conditioner, which I don't have colored hair, but this um, was the only one they had for sale so I wanted it to match the same brand. Also this scrunchie is new to my Etsy shop and it is still available so if you guys want to purchase it for yourself I made one for myself because I was so obsessed with the pattern. It's just like these tiny little flowers so I love it. Okay time to shower. <laughs> 